Welcome back, awesome action toy fans and subscribers. Once again, it is higher exquisite mini. It's the Judge Dread time, and this time we've got the Clegg Mercenarize. I'm sure it's supposed to be Clegg Mercenary, but they put Clegg Mercenarize there. Uh, comes in a much bigger box than the others. And it's got a lot more weight, substantially more weight, which makes you worry. It could be a bit top heavy and difficult to stand. Looks pretty cool in the pictures I've seen. Uh, can see you saw over there, big crocodilian head. And it's going to work in a number of universes. It looks rather, rather cool. On the back, we see pictures. I'm not sure what the articulation is going to be like, but the jaw does appear to be articulated. Looks really cool. I am really looking forward to this. I've been so impressed with this. Uh, Judge Dreadline by Higher Toys, really, they've really upped their game. It's sort of boding well for when they do the uh, G.I. Joe and their, one eight, their 112 stuff they're going to do later as well. So let's just quickly open this up. Um, anything inside worth keeping? That's pretty cool. I'll keep that, I think. Otherwise, the box can be thrown. So we have... Do you have a weapon? I can't see a weapon with him. Oh, he's got a weapon there, spare hands, the two H cannons, and his base. I'm not sure how well he's actually going to hold that weapon. So let's take the hands out first. Let's have a look at them. They do look nice. Really nice. I'll take him out too. They look really nice because they've got this really cool crocodilian skin effect. They're only four fingers or three fingers and a thumb on each side, but they look, they look superb. Really quite good. Um, they have some give. So you can bend them a bit. They're not going to snap straight away, which is good. Two H connectors and the base. Let me take... Well, they're out, in, they're out now anyway. Uh, the base is... Where is it? At the bottom? Okay. Base is out. And this is also a base we saw when uh, when we looked at Judge Dredd. So the same base that Judge Dredd comes on. The gun. No drilled barrel. Come on higher. All this effort. You could have drilled a barrel. Uh, does look good, but I've he's not going to hold that well. That's so hard to hold. Where's he going to hold it from? I mean, maybe I'm judging too quickly, but in my experience, guns or rifles with sort of this sort of shape, not much of a handle, figures can't hold nicely, but maybe we'll be proven wrong. And now for the main event, Corey. He does weigh a bit. Let's have a look. Bit shiny. Looks good. Loving that blue. Feels a bit loose in the joints, perhaps. We'll see if we can do that articulation. It's got double elbow joint, which is great. Double knee joints, I can see. Uh, oh, the tongue's awesome. It's got the little joint there. Go around the back. It's got a little rocket pack, jet pack. Going to burn his butt. But he looks really, really good. So, let me quickly try and set him up. And I'll be back in an instant. And if you like this sort of content, please consider joining the Patreon. Link in the top right of your screen now. There are prize draws. You get to see content early, sometimes exclusive content too. And it's worth trying just for a month. Okay, back in an instant. Okay, here he is. And as I suspected, I was right. He cannot hold that gun in the shooting position at all particularly well. Well, he is now, but that's because if you see how he's holding it... It's a big gap and just got one his thumb doing the trigger not his a uh, finger they should really done a hand that was really ready to hold that you know in a better way but he does look absolutely fantastic i have to say really nice looking figure i'm so glad i've got this um if you want to get your higher toys your 2000 ad toys like this I recommend Cool Toys Club, and there is a link in the video description where you can get a 5% discount. So it is worth checking out the video description, and you can buy from Cool Toys Club to get your higher 118 scale action figures. Really, really nice figure. Looks just looks so damn good. Okay, let's look at articulation. So, top to bottom, the back, there is nothing I can see. Head, surprisingly... Has left to right, up, down, and can twist. Much better than I thought it would be. And then we know already that the uh, lower jaw can open. And it got this really cool looking mouth there. Arms can't come close. So when they go around, they're going to come around really to the outside. Uh, going out. He does, though, get 
just about almost flat, which is good. Double elbow joint, but his arm's a bit too, what's the word? The angle's not shallow enough there. So he's still going to get 90, even with double, he can't really get past that. The uh, barbell system on the hands, so he has forwards back or side to side. He can roll all directions. It's the best system. He has got trunk articulation, so he can turn. There's a small dip, small side to side, nothing on the waist. Hips, look at that. It's fantastic. Really, really good. Forwards is not bad. Backwards goes out, but it's not bad. He, uh, there's no thigh twist, only from the uh, hip. You can see the actual hip joint inside there if you look closely, but it's quite well hidden by his belly. Double kneecap, but you have to get it to move. Nah. Oh, there we go. And he gets slightly over 90. Hips are a bit too loose, if I'm honest. Feet. Tippy toe is not bad. However, dorsiflexation is. He needs more dorsiflexation for some poses. He does have a small side-to-side -side swivel, and he can turn his feet. He's the only judge dread one can do that, which is pretty damn cool. He is a really, really nice figure. I have to say, I'm so glad I got him. He's probably my favourite out of the bunch so far, you know. He doesn't have a bicep swivel. If he had a bicep swivel, he could get his arm across. I mean, much, much better. But, despite that, he is still just fantastic. So you see, I'm going to put his... Let's try his finger this time. If I do his finger, his gun's going to be sort of pointing outwards. I need to be pointing straight, but... Okay, so if I do his... F nah! If I do his thumb... And get the stock into his... Still not pointing straight. Get the stock into his shoulder. He can hold it sort of... Okay, let's get him in a sort of... And he drops the gun again. See, he needs to have more dorsiflexation because he wants to fall backwards because he's top heavy and his big jetpack, which is fixed on. Of course, you can just hold his gun in a non shooting pose, but kind of like, yeah, but you know, he's a mercenary. He should be shooting his gun. That is my sort of grumpy opinion. Okay, see sort of what pose I can get him in. That's not bad considering. Check out this pose here. That's a nice sort of walking pose there. Pretty damn cool. Okay, let me get his legs straight quickly, get an idea of his height, and we'll do a quick comparison. Okay, so NCM. To the top of his head, he is about 11. To the top of the uh, sort of backpack thing he's about 12 maybe 12 and a half so he's quite big if i compare him to a boss fight studios the truven hacks you see he is certainly a fair bit bigger as you'd expect if i compare him to a body one joy toy this is the invicta warsuit pilot here scales relatively well with invicta warsuit pilot and body one but body two will be slightly bigger but what we want to see is him with 2000 AD figures. So let me get him into a nice little pose. Yeah! Come on, stand up again. Do that nice pose for me. Look at that. So he is there. And let's get bum bum bum. Judge Dread there. <laughs> What a fantastic looking scene. Great, great figure. Really like this a lot. It looks so good with uh, with Dread as well. Fantastic. Great job by Hire. Okay, it's awesome actually signing out. Again, saying please check out the uh, Patreon. It's worth joining just for a month. Link in the video description. And again, if you want to get your Hire 2000 AD toys, your Hire Judge Dread toys, video description, click on the Call cool Toys Club link. You can get 5% discount there on these awesome looking toys too. Subscribe to this YouTube channel and smash that notification bell icon so you don't miss a video as soon as it's published. And I will see you all in the next video. So until then, everyone stay happy, keep collecting, 
and have fun with your toys. Bye-bye.